It's a very, very pleasant community, very friendly community, small town. And we have one stoplight in our community. That didn't come too long ago, so we're big time now because we have a stoplight in town. Around 1959, my father, Alan Beck, started the business repairing and selling televisions. He was very tech-minded and very handy with electronics. And he taught me how to repair televisions and helped me get in sales into the sales of television. In 1974 is when I entered into the business. And we married in 1976, and Laura started working in the business at that time. And Back in the test tube days, people would bring their little tubes from their TVs in and we'd test them to see if they were any good. And as we were growing our business, our family was growing also, so I started raising children. And then we had each of our children work here, and one of them still working for us today. Earliest memories of this business was deliveries in a really old, green 1970s van. I am the third generation. Started working here back in high school. I do a little bit of everything. There's not two days that are the same. Every day is a little bit different. We are local. We have better customer service than anywhere else. We have a lot of cabins and stuff around here. A lot of people are on propane. So we will convert your, your dryer or your range to propane and nobody else will. We just have to make sure the customer's happy. Everything's about the customer, making them happy. Mark puts family first and that's in very admirable quality. He thinks of all of us as family, so I know that if we ever needed anything, we could go to him and he would take care of us. We have really good customer service. We have to step a little bit higher than the big box stores to earn our customers' business. We follow up with our customers. We make sure that any service issues are followed through and that they're happy. We just go the extra mile to make sure everybody's happy with the product and the service that they get. We started out in a very small building, and we would bought the building lot right next to us. We brought a backhoe in to probe the ground, make sure there were no holes or old basements. Didn't find any. We brought the cement truck in to pour the footings, and it fell in to the old basement, I guess. Tipped over an old, Tipped an old, an old over. cistern. And all the cement went down in the hole, and we had to hire a crane to pull it out. We started cinder blocking up the walls and a microburst came through and blew them over. <laughs> had to rebuild that. We got the store up and running and in 83 we had a huge snow winter and it caved the warehouse in, caved the roof in. So we built and we rebuilt and we built again. We're very competitive and we strive to be very competitive. Everyone likes to be taken care of when you have a problem. It feels good when someone takes a personal interest in you. We take great pride in how well we strive to take care of our customers. Whenever you, you are in need of information, it always feels good to talk to someone that knows what they're talking about. Our employees have been here, some of them 30 plus, and the others are kind of approaching that. So long, long term employees that know the business extremely well. They know the product. We feel our customers trust us, and we hope they trust us, because we always strive to run our business with integrity.